Power BI reporting. Microsoft introduced the ability to embed Power BI charts into the role center in 2017. Now they've introduced the concept of making it more contextual. And I'm going to show you a little bit more on that in a minute. But now with the new Power BI controls, you can gain awareness of specific things within context. The filters that are defined by you in lists of items and or customers will be dynamically passed to your Power BI reports to be able to deliver a visual representation through Power BI of each of those records. From an initial setup standpoint, when using the Azure Active Directory during the signing process, the nav connector will auto discover the tenants and make that connection for you. So again, really streamlines it for you. So let me show you a little bit about what I'm talking about. This image here is a representation of how Microsoft took it a step beyond just dropping a Power BI report into your role center. Here we have the ability now to embed the Power BI report in a fact box on the customer list. And as I choose a different customer, the Power BI report that I'm viewing dynamically refreshes to pull the data that is specific to that customer. This dynamic slicing of the report is super powerful. So here you'll see I have the customer litware selected, and on the right I see what their due balance is and what their credit limit is, which is really powerful stuff. So based on how I'm slicing my data within the list, the Power BI becomes responsive to that. And then here's yet another example of choosing a different customer here, the Canyon Group, for example. And once again, we see that it's dynamically updating the charts on the right. So again, very powerful from the standpoint of dynamically slicing the data. And those of you that have used Power BI know that Power BI is all about slicers. And here, the slicing is happening dynamically for you. 